is the Washington Times front page for Thursday, November 18th, 2021. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration has suspended work on a COVID-19 vaccine mandate after a stay from a federal appeals court. Tom Howe reports OSHA said the 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals decision to stay the mandate forced its hand, but that the fight over President Biden's rule isn't over. The rule would force companies with 100 or more employees to require COVID-19 vaccinations or regular testing for coronavirus infection. The Fifth Circuit froze the mandate late last week, citing a multitude of reasons to believe that a legal challenge is likely to succeed on the merits. OSHA's decision to stop its work went largely unnoticed until Wednesday. President Biden is hailing a proposed tax credit that would give automakers with union workers a leg up in the rapidly expanding electric vehicle market. In Detroit, at a GM electric vehicle factory, the president said the proposal would benefit the environment and blue-collar workers by rewarding union shops for transitioning to electric vehicles. It's included in the $1.8 trillion social spending bill being currently negotiated in Congress. But Jeff Mordock reports automakers with non-union facilities and lawmakers from states where those plants are located are crying foul. They say the tax credit rewards unions for supporting the president during the election at the expense of non-union workers. The credit wouldn't cover a majority of the electric vehicles on the road today and would disadvantage non-union car manufacturers such as Toyota and Tesla. Congressional Democrats and the White House are running interference ahead of a looming report from the Congressional Budget Office that will detail the cost of President Biden's social spending bill and the revenue collection proposals to fund it. As part of that effort, Harris Alec reports Democrats are engaged in a campaign to discredit the expected work of the CBO. They claim the nonpartisan federal agency, tasked with analyzing the fiscal impact of legislation, can't properly vet all of the provisions in the bill. A congressional Democratic leadership aide told Harris that they are working overtime to educate members about the flaws in the CBO's methodology and that a few bad cost estimates shouldn't derail it from moving forward. Democratic leaders are worried that a bad CBO score will derail House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's effort to pass the legislation later this week. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. If you don't have access to the Times yet, you can visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George and get 25% off your annual subscription. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, already under fire for his role in the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, is facing more pressure for his potential ties to a Department of Justice investigation. Ben Wolfgang reports multiple reports surfaced last week that Sullivan is the foreign policy advisor named in special counsel John Durham's indictment last week of Democratic lawyer Michael Sussman. Sussman is charged with lying to the FBI about what he knew about Donald Trump's ties to Russia. Democratic insiders say privately there is no evidence the probe is targeting Sullivan. They say Republicans are using the issue in a partisan effort to discredit the administration's national security team. And finally, many of America's Protestant clergy members, whether suffering from the pandemic or burnout, are thinking about quitting, according to a new survey. Evangelical Christian research firm Barna Group found about 38% of Protestant pastors overall say their jobs are so stressful they are seriously considering leaving full-time ministry. Mark Kellner reports that figure represents a significant increase from January of last year, when 29% said they were giving serious thought to leaving. The contemplated departures are a continued part of the Great Resignation across the country. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that a record 4.4 million Americans left their jobs in September. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us on all of your favorite podcast platforms just by searching Washington Times. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.